hello guys welcome back to a brand new video today today it is my match preview for Brighton vs Wolverhampton at the Amex Stadium and um, obviously Brighton done a great job up at Newcastle massive three points for Brighton um, obviously I'd like to thank all the travelling fans that did go up there um, obviously it's a long journey I'm glad we got the three points for you that went up there and Kyle got the goal um, off a deflection. Uh, I think his shot might have been saved if Kyle did not get a deflection. Um, obviously, it's all good news for Glenn Murray. Whether he plays tomorrow, I'm not going to be 100% sure till tomorrow. So, unfortunately, I can't bring you a bit that update yet. But I know he's good as well. But whether he plays or not, I'm not 100% sure. Um, so, you know, it's going to be an interesting game, uh, no matter what way you look at it. Wolves are going to come back and want to pick up the three points, obviously, from last week's disappointment to Watford, losing 2-0. Um, and Brighton are going to want to continue. It's our first and last home game before the international break comes up again. Obviously, we've got Everton away and we've got Cardiff away. Um, you know, so... You know, we've got to take full, full advantage of this game. Um, but anyway, guys, here's my 1-11. to 11. So, in goal, I'll go with Matty Ryan. Matty Ryan has done nothing wrong. Um, you know, looking at our first team keeper for a while. Um, so, you know, it's going to be... It's, it probably will remain number one for quite some time. Uh, so... Obviously, that's why I put him in goal. Um, right back, I've gone with Bruno. Bruno played fantastic against West Ham. Um, he did all right up at Newcastle. Still, you know, you can see the link-up play that knockout, and uh, Bruno has. Um, so, uh, the next player I'm putting on the right side is Shane Duffy. Shane Duffy, yet again, a brilliant centre-back for the club. Um, you know, it's a lot of competition for places now, which I like to see. Uh, considering all them days I used to spend at the Wolf Dean getting soaked when we had no money, it's now it's rea now it's really nice now that I see us playing in the Premier League and bringing all these players in, and com as I said, competition for places. The other centre back is Lewis Dunk. Um, now. Obviously, as I said, competition for places, but I can't see Dunk being on the bench, not at all. Uh, left back, I'll go with... Now, this is a hard one, because I've watched the Newcastle game, and Bong nearly cost us a goal. Um, but Bong played well at that City, and he played well at West Ham. So I'm going to have to stick Bong in there again, just for this time round. Um, you know, I've, as I said, as I've, I've watched the Newcastle game, and that slight mistake might have cost us a goal, but luckily he didn't. Uh, in left mid, now this is where it could change up a lot. I'll go with Ischiedo. Now Ischiedo had came on against West Ham. And as I said, he set up, set up that goal against Newcastle. I'm expecting him to start on the left. Um, in right centre mid... Um, so we actually no, I'd be on the left side. Sorry, um, I'll go with Bram Kyle. Uh, fantastic goal against Newcastle, but let's hope we can do it again. Um, on the right side, I'll go with Bazuma. Um, you know, I think Stevens is on his way back. I'm not sure how fit he is. Um, but I'll show you how I'm expecting them to set up in a minute. They'll be behind me. Um, and I'll move out the way so you can have a good look. Um, on the right, I'll go with Anthony Knockhart. Now, we all know what happened when Knockhart scored at Wolverhampton. And what happened to the club. Obviously, it's our promotion season. Um, you know, I think it's our last game before we play Wigan. And what a great result that was for the club. Uh, what a promotion it was for the club as well. And I love seeing us playing the pro. Um, now, 
behind on Gaff to Stick starting March purely because when I watched the game on Sky Sports, I think it might have been back at the West End game. I was at the West End game. Um, I just managed to watch it back on telly. Uh, they stuck March behind uh, Murray. Um, but whether that be the same or stick Jackabash, as I said, I'll stick March in there for now. Um, and Striker, because I don't know how Murray is doing, I don't know whether he's passed a fitness test, I don't know whether he's fit for the game. So, but all I know is Skinner is all round for Glen Murray. So, but as I've said, because I'm not sure of his condition, I'm going to stick the Guardia in there. Right, now if I move out the way, I'll show you how they, how I think it's going to be set up. Right, now you can see how I think they're going to set up. Um, I'm expecting a good game all round. You know, Wolverhampton came up as champions. Um, you know, uh, it's going to be an interesting game, I think. But guys, anyway, I'm going to end this video here. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.